Hello, good morning. You're watching Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker. So many people will be watching this closely. Just tell us a little bit, um, if you would, about Cardinal Pell. The sock monster. Were you, were you losing lots of socks and then wondering where they'd all go? <laughs> I saw one go. <laughs> right. I, tried, I tried to rescue it. Just to change the subject, talk about Wembley. Um, we've heard from the man who wants to buy Wembley Stadium and he sees himself very much as the saviour. She's really tough mentally, but that cannot be easy to break that run. Uh, we're going to be talking about football programmes later as well. You're really looking ahead to give us the good news. <laughs> I appreciate yes. it. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Carol. It is May, after all. Thank you. It's only to the weekend and we're there. So what they're doing is they're looking at the music that we download and stream. And, and that is a gauge, apparently a very accurate gauge, of how we feel generally as a society. Really? Yes. So basically the story was just around development yes. of language, essentially. Yeah. So, yes. And you got more tattoos. I was just another tattoo. David Beckham showing off his latest tattoo was actually, look, the solar system having a great time yes. living on an island. As we just discovered. <laughs> oh, fish is yes. good, fish is good not, for all of us. He doesn't want that. Prime cut. Prime I don't cut. know what exactly it was, but yes. Goodness <laughs> me, lucky dog. Mm -hmm. If Wembley Stadium is sold, the Football Association is saying that the money will be ploughed into grassroots football. And what does that mean exactly? Wow. Isn't it? This is honest. Exactly. I think that's really refreshing. Historical artefacts. We had um, with the, the most recent anniversary of the Munich Air disaster. Yes, so you really get the sense he's got to kind of hit the ground running with this job, hasn't he? Morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're speaking to uh, Liam Fox, International Trade Secretary, about the appointment of Sanjay Javid and a few other things as well. Oh, yes. Well... I'm going to try that, I think. Next time I post for a picture, it's going to widen yeah. things out a little bit. <laughs> he's, uh, he hasn't even been in the job 24 hours. You really get a sense he's got to hit the ground running on this. Um, from your point of view, do you do the Daily Mile? Do you and your children do the Daily Mile, for example? OK, and just uh, briefly as well, you know, in your house, you know, we all struggle with those offers and you've been talking, you've been outlining them a lot. Thank you very much indeed. And I know you're going to the uh, select committee, the committee later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That is the daily fight, isn't it? When your kids come in from school, it's a, it is. Can I have a snack? <laughs> Very good. What flavour? Or oh, freaky? No, smoky bacon. Salt and vinegar. Oh, I always go smoky bacon. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Trying to keep a lid on it's things because here. Because he's told me how his name is actually pronounced. Brusate, like a <laughs> uh, like a sauté <laughs> skewer. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Very immature. I might just go and have to have a little sit down for did a you moment. Have, did you have a sneezing fit? No. no. Okay. So just a, one claw. That's one claw, and this dinosaur would have had three of those on right. each hand. In some ways, the Hollywood version of those particular ones is is spot on. But what's sort of the next chapter? I mean, what are, what are you wanting to know that you don't yet know that that might be sort of coming to light in the next few years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very See, much indeed. That I, is amazing. I challenged earlier whether they had every single book that ever been published. Well, I and they said do. go and look for Dan's book. That's why. So that's quite positive. That. Yeah. Take positive. Um, anyway, uh, it's six minutes past nine. Uh, I feel exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Radio One and one extra film critic, Ali Flum, is here with us Morning, now. Yeah. Let's start with that one. Uh, essentially, they're really fun. What number in the sort of Marvel series is this? Well, thank you very much indeed for coming to talk to us. Thank you. If you're going to see it, let us know what you think. Uh, that's it from us today. We'll be back at six o'clock tomorrow. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. <laughs>